One of the wonderful things about our choir is that it includes and supports not only singers with early stage memory loss, but also their care partners. Our care partners include family members, friends, professional caregivers, all sorts of relationships. Our group also includes an extraordinary group of singer volunteers who believe in what we do and show up not only for training, but for every rehearsal week after week, bringing their voices and hearts to this effort. When we all contribute our voices to the singing, the result is greatly enriched, both musically and personally, as you can see and hear. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure now to welcome to the microphone one of the pairs of people who sing in our choir. In this case, a husband and wife, Bruce and Ann Hunt. They will share with us a bit about their experiences of singing in good memories. Bruce and Ann, welcome. When I was growing up, my mother and father often sang together love songs, favorite hymns, ballads with lyrics. Their lives were not easy during the Second World War. My dad lost his job in the automobile industry, and he was declared unfit for the armed services because he had problems with his feet. Their lives were not easy, but their faith anchored in prayer and singing hymns was deeply rooted. I grew up singing along with them. Through those storms may come, I'm holding on to the rock I cling to. We moved to the Chicago area where we had family and my dad got a job. He liked to take my sister and me with him to the Chicago Industrial Mission Church in the city on Sunday. We sat in the choir loft and sang hymns along with the preacher and the men in the pews. I'll never forget how those men wanted to shake our hands at the end of the service. No doubt, many of them had families they'd left behind. Those memories may fade some, as I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about a year and a half ago. I was very upset and I began to look for some way to deal with my prognosis. Carol Rosowski, a longtime friend, told us about the Good Memories Chorus. She encouraged us to join. I had no idea what to expect at my first visit, but I was pleasantly surprised to have helped reading the music and was comfortable with what I had to offer. I not only enjoy singing, but I love the companionship of the chorus and the chorus members and the upbeat leadership of Sandy and Jonathan. How can I keep from singing?
often teased my father about his reluctance to do anything for the first time. I share some of his reluctance to try out any new thing, and I certainly don't like doing things I'm no good at. Still, I knew that it was wise as I got older to learn a new skill, and I thought it would be good to support Anne by joining with her in the Good Memories Chorale, even though I had not sung with a chorus since high school. And it's been a great adventure. Whenever we begin our session by standing, as we are able, and launching into a vigorous version of Oh, What a Beautiful Morning, I realized this is where I belong. I'm glad I didn't have to audition for this group. <laughs> but I am singing with more confidence now than when I started. I appreciate the invitation after we have completed a particularly demanding piece to turn to your neighbor and say, good job. And best of all, on the way home on the L, I love being able to say to Anne, you know, that was really hard work, and we done good. <laughs>